So I just decided that I was gonna do this like 10 minutes ago. Fun fact, uh, just because you turn on the camera doesn't mean that ideas are going to start pouring out of you. So um, yeah, hi, <laughs> my name is Victoria. I live in Toronto, um, I'm a student. And this summer, actually tomorrow, I am leaving to go on a holiday to Europe for three weeks by myself. I know that sounds kind of crazy, I think it's kind of crazy too. I'm going with a tour company called Contiki Holidays. Um, so technically I won't be by myself. I'm going to be with a tour company, but I am going solo. I don't know anybody that's gonna be on this trip. I don't know what's going to happen. And I just kind of threw myself into this maybe like a year and a half ago. I started saving up for this trip. Um, I was working and I decided that I wanted to spend some of my earnings by going on a holiday to Europe. I'm very excited, I'm very passionate about traveling, um, and it's something that I've wanted to do for a really long time, and I just decided that it was time to do it. My flight departs um, around 11 p.m. tomorrow. I am honestly really super nervous right now, that's exactly what I'm feeling. I've been running around uh, the past week or so, just getting everything together, making sure I have everything because really I'm going by myself, so I just have to make sure that everything is done and like pretty much ready to go. I photocopied all my travel docs, I have everything ready, um, and I can't believe it's happening. Part of like the reason that I decided to do this was because this is an experience that is probably once in a lifetime, <laughs> you know, just um, have some documentation of what I was embarking on and what I decided to do when I was 18 and I'm probably going to be looking at this later and be like, what was I doing? This is crazy. 18, going to Europe by myself. I'm also hoping that by making these videos I can help people who are thinking about going to Europe by themselves for the first time um, get that kind of courage to do it because I definitely did my research before I went on this trip and I knew that a lot of people did it by themselves but of course it's a scary experience going to a new country by yourself especially for the amount of time that my trip for instance is and I just wanted to let people know that you can do it and that I will show you kind of what I did to get there. Tomorrow I am flying out to Heathrow Airport which is in London, England and that is where my tour starts and I have the day to myself because um, we get an extra day as Canadians and Americans get an extra day um, to hang out before the tour starts so it goes from England to France to Monaco to Italy to Vatican City to Austria to Germany to Liechtenstein to Switzerland to Netherlands ending in Belgium then heading back to London for my flight on June 1st which is going to be absolutely crazy I can't even imagine how packed it's going to be it's going to be so busy all the time and I hope that if you're a traveler that you find these videos useful or if you just want to come along for the ride that you have a good experience doing that that's about it for me this is my pre-departure video and I really hope that you enjoyed this. The next time that I'm gonna see you guys is probably after the trip because I'm not taking my computer with me and I'm only taking my phone, which I will also have limited access to Wi-Fi. However, I'm hoping that when I have Wi-Fi, um, I'll be able to connect with everybody. I'm gonna be on social media. So my Instagram is VictoriaJCW and I'm definitely gonna be updating my Instagram with pictures. Um, I've heard that there's Wi-Fi in most of the hotels that we're staying in, so I'll definitely be using the Wi-Fi when I'm there to upload pictures and check in. Um, but the next time you're probably gonna see a video is when I'm back, but I will be taking lots of footage when I'm there, so expect updates. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!